So we're starting to get some things from players when Danny first came in. Hello and welcome to this video. You could like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm much appreciate it. Liking out the algorithm, sharing gets in front of people's faces, and subscribing letting me know you like the channel. And it's also free, so please do so. Hit that notification bell to let you know when videos go live. We have got a live stream tonight. Uh, we should be having a good one. Talk about stuff from this week. But I'm looking forward to it. It should be a good, good stream. Hopefully it won't be as hot in here, but I have a funny thing it will be. So the air conditioning will be on uh, during that. So I do apologize in advance. Uh, Danny had an ultimate buy-in from Sheffield Wednesday players right from their first meeting. And this is interesting. Now, when Wednesday had Danny come in, we were very much in a bad situation it looked like we were going to get relegated before Christmas it wasn't great and you're thinking right what's going to happen here and you got to think when you have that happen you're like what the scenario is going to be from the players how are the players going to react to a new manager especially one who's only 34 and this is the thing you were having to pick up a squad that was confident was in the floor they hadn't won a game. They just didn't look like a team of players that has even looked like playing together at all. And it was hard to see how Danny was going to probably get this sorted. Uh, but today I've been talking to Callum Patterson and he turned around. So he came in from the first day and he said, this is what I want. A, B, C, X, Y, Z. There's no blurred line. He knows what he wants and got all of believing in it and the way he works. He coaches exactly the same. And this is the thing. You like things like this. You like having it where someone comes in and they have a set strategy, what they're going to do, how they're going to do it, how they're going to get it sorted. And he put that belief in them going, you've, you've been written off already, but we can do this. Every time it looks like we're, we're getting closer. Oh, and I did it a lot. I was like, oh, we're not going to do this now. I think it's done. Then you start getting belief again. We all did it. There's not many people who can say that they were like, oh, I think we can do this. I think there was a couple I saw in my comment section like, no, I think we can do it. Fine. It's just a blip. I think the other teams around us are going to drop points. And they did uh, at times. But we, we had to carry on doing what we were doing. And here's the thing. Patterson has just had a contract extended uh, alongside Marvin Johnson, which is great. And this will be fifth season of Wednesday player. And that's incredible because you forget how long he's actually been here. He's been here for a while. He's been here since 2019 season. Um, and he's like, so like everybody in the camp, they like what happened and how he's doing. Um, Patterson goes on to say, I have experienced managers and really young managers like Ian Cathro at Hearts, but he had total different ideas. People say the old goal and the new goal manager, but I think it's whatever gets the players on board. Danny came in with his style and the ball boy bought into it. Definitely a lot more tactical and longer training session with more information and things like that than before. He got his own style. He worked with the best manager in the world and the ideas from different coaches and he's just taken things from there. And that's the thing. I think you see it a lot with the likes of Windaf, Barry Bannon, Pato going, he worked with some of the best managers in the world and he, he knows what he wants. He knows what a setup should look like. So that's the other thing we're kind of looking at as well. He knows how a setup is meant to be with uh, with a football club. And I think that's something we as a club need to use his experience with that. And I'm hoping and praying that Chan Siri is doing, going, I've worked at X, Y, and Z club. This is how it should be done. This is not how we do it kind of thing. And this is the thing that got to be something that all happened in the meeting between Danny and Chan Siri. But Patterson, I, the thing is, Patterson's this stupid thing, right? Where everybody have had the thing where they go, hey, we're not too sure what um, the situation is, where you play, what's your best position, stuff like that. We've always had that situation with Wendy. And Patterson, could people like, he's not a striker, but he's not this. It's a little bit like Windaf. Windaf goes, he's a striker, but he's not. He's not a striker. He's more of a 10. We have a lot of players in our side that are versatile. And there's a lot of people who said they wanted to see Patterson go. 
at the end uh, last season. They were saying maybe it's time to go. But I think for me personally, anyone who watches the channel knows I'm a big Callum Patterson fan. He gives you the work effort. He gives you the 100% running after people constantly, which you don't normally get. And that's the big one for me. You don't normally get that with people. So the fact that he's been able to do that kind of base of pressing, trying to get forward, going for it is interesting for me. It really is interesting. So we'll see what happens. Patterson's obviously got a role to play in this squad. It seems like he wouldn't offer him another, you wouldn't take it on the option of the, on the deal if you didn't. Unless you're taking the option on that deal to go, look, we'll, we'll protect the option and if an offer comes in from Scotland, we'll let you go. Because that's the only place I can see Pato going. If he, if he is going to go, it's him going back up to Scotland. And I only see that because of the situation with his partner being pregnant and stuff like that. So not wanting to settle settle up in Scotland, family close and stuff like that. So we'll see. Patterson's an interesting one. I think there'll be clubs looking at him in Scotland. I think there'll be a couple of teams that might go after him. You never know, Hart might go in for him again. They were talk about it last time. So we'll see. Pato's one of the ones that I love to see stay though because I think he offers us something that we don't have in this squad at times. When things are going bad, you bring Pato off the bench to just get in people's faces. We haven't got that style of player in the squad, and you need a couple of them in the championship. You just do. Or you're not going to succeed in the championship. You haven't got the players who can get in people's faces. And I think if we get one of them, the better. The more of them, the better. But it's about how we click. we got to start well. Pre-season will be next week uh, from the 28th and it's looking like the weather's getting warmer so it can be hot weather training for them and then they've got a couple of days in St. George's Park and then they go to Germany for pre-season. We've got our first friendly as well which is Alphen Town. Um, I suggest we're going to get more coming soon as well. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. It's going to be very interesting times uh, Wednesday because I think next week with Danny back, players starting to come back, you're going to see things ramp up a little bit quicker. A little bit quicker. I'm not saying it's going to go mental, but it might be a little bit quicker than it has been this week because it has felt very slow this week, I won't lie. 